Today we've got a great guest in Rahman Tahir from Keller Williams and we're going to talk about land. All right, today I'm excited because we've got a special guest on our show, Rahman Tahir. He's a Keller Williams agent. Rahman, say hi. Hi, guys. And today we're going to talk about his favorite thing, which is... Land. Land, baby. We're going to talk about some land. So before we get into it, Rahman, tell me a little bit about how you got into real estate, your journey. <laughs> That's actually funny. The way I got into real estate was my dad. He's not a real estate agent, but he was always into real estate. Yeah. And my brother-in-law overseas, he actually is a real estate agent. Okay. So they were always, you know, having conversations back and forth, and I just got intrigued by it. Just hooked you? Yeah, it just hooked me. Okay. And so... I thought it was really cool, honestly. Okay. So what got you from getting into real estate uh, into getting into land? <laughs> my brother-in-law, he does a lot of land overseas. And, you know, majority of his conversations was that. And when I got my license, one of the real estate agents that I guess you could say mentored me was a friend of my dad's who he had great respect for and his specialty was land. Yeah. And, you know, I just wanted to emulate him, you know, just out of admiration. And from that, I gained a love for land. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So how long have you been in real estate now? Over two years. Over two years. Okay. And do you focus more heavily with buyers or sellers or how does that work for you? Uh, both. Both? both? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so get back into land. I'm a big numbers guy, and I know I've got, I've got a lot of friends out there who are big into investments, right? So I'm always thinking about wholesaling, flipping, buy and hold, like rental situations. When it comes to land, what do you see as the top, maybe one or two ways that you would go after an investment when it comes to land? Well, the thing with the land is one, it's a long-term investment. It's, it's not, you know, a short investment where people buy a house, but then 30 days they flip it. Okay. With the land, you're going to have to hold it for a few months, and it depends on the neighborhood because the neighborhood increases the value of land and the developments that are going on around that land. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're looking at, correct me if I'm wrong, kind of speculating which neighborhoods are going to be stronger where, you know, maybe the neighborhood's here right now, but you foresee some things that maybe others don't, where the neighborhood's going to be a lot better in a few yeah. months or years or whatever it is. So that piece of property that's worth 50 grand might be worth 150 grand in the, the, the near term future. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. I can give you a short example. Like I remember yeah. when I was little on US1 down in Fort Pierce. Land was selling dirt cheap when I was little because people knew that commercial businesses and homes were developing. They bought it, they held it for, it took them a few years, but yeah. now they're selling it for four or five times whatever they bought it for. Yes, okay. And when you advise people to purchase land, are you advising that they generally go out and get loans on the property? Are they buying with cash or is it a mixture of both? What are, you, what are you looking at for the funding? The strongest thing for land, especially if you're an investor, is cash. Otherwise, you can get a loan on land. I mean, that's no issue. You will find a lender that will give you a loan. Okay. And with that cash investment, you're still seeing a nice solid ROI on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So when it comes to land, uh, I, I don't know what your experience is with with you know, pre-existing homes and the investments in those properties. But would you say that land is a better investment than the three I'd mentioned, the wholesaling, the rentals and the flippers, or, you know, would you stick to those? How do you weigh those? If you're looking for fast cash, definitely, you know, flipping and wholesaling is quicker than land because land is something that generally you have to hold for a long term. It could take anywhere for from <clears throat> four to six months to even yeah. a year. Um, and don't get me wrong, there, there's lands that I've listed and I've sold two months later. Sure. It, it happens, but it's very rare. And for any investor, just like somebody that's looking for a house to flip, you want to do your inspection, you want to do that with the land. I mean, anybody intelligent enough would want to do it because in land, you call it what's called a feasibility study. You want to make sure that that land is buildable, that there's no turtles on it, no vegetation, anything that has to be cleared out before you build on it or you plan on selling it to a builder. That's a great point you brought up. And just to explain to everybody else, let's end with this. What is an, a, a feasibility study and who, who conducts one? What does it do for me as the buyer? 
Well, what it does for you as a buyer is it lets you know, can you actually build on this land and what are the thing, what are the constraints that will stop you? For example, there could be potholes on the land and you didn't know it. Yep. And if you build your house, your house is going to be crooked. So you're going to have to fill that. You're going to have to take that all into consideration, not just the cost of building, but the cost of leveling out the land, filling the potholes. If there's turtles, you have to take them out. You have to take the eggs out. That's a very expensive, you know, very expensive task right Process, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And if you have any more questions from Ramon, how can they catch you on both Facebook and Instagram? On Instagram, my uh, username is Ramon, R-E-H-M-A-N dot T-A-H-I-R dot Tahir. And on Facebook, you can look me up by Ramon Tahir and it will pull up my Keller Williams page. Or you can uh, just email me straight at Keller Williams, Ramon Tahir at KW.com. All right. Thanks, my man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Have yourself a great week. Thank you. Have a good one, you guys. Thank you very much. And Bye. stay fired up.